To open a document in Link, I tap on it. So I'll tap on this first one, Privacy Policy. Here you see one of the new features in Link. I have iManage on the left and the Privacy Policy on the right. This is because we now have a true split screen mode. And I can use this slider to adjust the percentage of the two screens. To look at a second document, I would tap on it, or I can tap the radio buttons to the left here, employee IP Baker and form of certificate, and then I tap open. Now I have three files open in the link viewer on the right hand side, employee IP, privacy policy, and form of certificate. I can annotate or edit any of these documents. If I'd like to look at this form of certificate side by side with the privacy policy, I just press on the tab and move it over to the left hand side. Now I can look at these two documents side by side. You can also look at the same document side by side, which is something that lawyers asked us to enable. At the top on the left, I want to go back to iManage, so I just tap the iManage 10 tab. Let's annotate this document, the privacy policy, on the right-hand side. I'll change the ratio. Now I tap the paper and pencil icon. Here I can select to either edit with the Word app or annotate, and I'm going to select annotate this time. Now I have my annotation menu along the top. I'll show you a few popular features. I'll tap on the pen point. And with my finger, or with an Apple Pencil, I can write on the document. Now I'll tap on the Magic Tool. And with that I can outline a segment of the text. When I tap on the T, and then tap on the document, I can type in text. And I have lots of flexibility to change the size and even the color. Next I'll tap on the A, which is a line highlighter, and over here you can see the color is pink, and I'd rather have green, I'd rather have it less opaque. Now I can use the line highlighter to highlight this paragraph. I could change the color or the opacity here as well. I can strike through squiggly underline or underline. I'll choose squiggly underline. It's in red and I like that so I'll just leave it at red. And now one of my best practices when I annotate a page, I bookmark it so I tap the bookmark in the upper right. Now I'll tap in the white space. You can see the bookmark along the bottom. Also along the lower right you can see actions I can take. Airprint, email, import to DMS, or save locally to my files in Link. Along the upper right, I have a document index. So for example, it shows me every bookmarked page. It shows me every annotation. I can scroll through them. I can jump to a page, bookmark, and I can search the document for a term. This last icon is for a grid view. I have a full menu where I can add and subtract pages or change the order, and I can choose to look at only the annotated pages or only the bookmarked pages. I'll go back to the page view. Now I'd like to email this document, so I can either do that by tapping the envelope icon in the lower right, or I can tap the X in the upper left. My document closes, and I get an action menu on the left-hand side. It gives me four options. I can check in the annotated PDF to DMS. I can send the annotated file as an email attachment. I can keep these changes in my files, the local storage in link, or I could discard these annotations. And I want to do number two, send the annotated files as an email attachment. So I tap on that. And now link prepares an email compose screen. My privacy policy, which I just annotated, is attached. If I press on the file name, I get this local menu, 
Before I send it, I want to preview it to make sure it has the annotations that I made in it. So I tap preview. And yes, I can see that the document has the changes that I have made. I'll close that. Now all I have to do is complete my email. I can mark it as urgent by tapping the exclamation point. And now to send the email, I tap the paper airplane.